Missouri was deemed the show-me state either after a speech by Congressman Willard Duncan Vandiver or as a way to ridicule miners during a strike in the 1890s. However the nickname originated, it almost begs you to see all it has to offer. Jefferson City is one of the most historically significant areas in Missouri, full of Civil War era buildings and museums inspired by the period. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in Jefferson City. Missouri State Penitentiary this spot was opened in 1836 and operated for almost 190 years. It was also known as The Walls because of its large stone blocks and the deadliest 47 acres in America because 40 inmates were executed there and many other died within its walls. A couple of the most notable of these criminals were Charles Pretty Boy Floyd and James Earl Ray. Visitors can take a public tour of the penitentiary and haunted tours are available as well. There's a nearby museum at the Colonel Darwin D. Marmaduke House with prison memorabilia and a replica cell to step inside. Prison Brews This unique drinking spot is only three blocks away from the penitentiary, and it celebrates that with prison-themed decor. Everything's brewed on-site, and the menu includes delicious burgers, pizzas, and sandwiches. Relax with a meal and a drink, play a bit of bocce ball, or buy a souvenir to take home. The Missouri State Capitol St. Charles was the first capital of Missouri, but it was replaced by Jefferson City. The Capitol building was completed in 1917. You can explore the three-acre property on a guided tour, go inside to enjoy the fascinating architecture, fountains, sculptures, and floral gardens. Step inside to see the beautiful artwork and get a glimpse of the Senate and House chambers. Make sure to check out the Hall of Famous Missourians with over 50 busts of Harry S. Truman, Buck O'Neill, and other famous Missouri residents. The Missouri State Museum This museum sits inside the Capitol building and celebrates the state's history. It has several temporary and permanent Civil War history exhibits, including over 30,000 artifacts and a collection of over 125 battle flags. Admission is free from 8 to 5 every day. Lewis and Clark Monument You'll find this site next to the Capitol building. It features statues of Captain Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, George Druyard, York, and Seaman. Take photos with them before enjoying wide and wonderful views of the surrounding city. Museum of Missouri Military History this museum sits on the National Guard's training center. It shows how residents of Missouri have participated in conflicts from the Revolutionary War to the present day. Its artifacts include weapons such as a Revolutionary War musket, Civil War howitzer, and World War II machine gun. It also features military vehicles such as a McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. Admission is free from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesdays to Fridays and 10 to 5 on Saturdays. Jefferson Landing State Historic Site this spot was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1969. It replicates the feeling of life in Jefferson City in the 1800s. Its most notable buildings are the Christopher Mouse House, the Lowman's Landing Building that contains a general store and warehouse, and the Union Hotel with its Elizabeth Rosier Gallery inside and Amtrak train station on the ground floor. You can take a guided tour of the area or easily navigate it yourself to see all it has to offer. Governor's Mansion This red brick building was built in the early 1990s and is one of the few administrative residences in the U.S. that's open to the public. You can tour it almost any time except on the weekends. Remember to book at least 24 hours in advance and bring your photo ID and basic information to pass security checks. Carnahan Memorial Garden This haven of natural beauty sits next to the governor's mansion. It was renamed after Governor Carnahan's death to honor him and features flowers, pools, and trees connected by beautiful walkways. You can also book the area for special events as long as they don't last longer than six hours and you don't damage the lawn. Rockbridge Memorial State Park This park features plenty of hiking, biking, and horse trails. It's also a perfect camping spot. Don't leave without stopping by the Devil's Icebox Cave, a secluded area that never gets above 50 degrees. Katy Trail State Park This is another beautiful state park that sits by the former Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railroad. The eponymous Katy Trail is over 225 miles long, making it the longest rail trail in the U.S. It also has 26 other trail heads to enjoy. The Missouri River Pedestrian Bike Bridge has two lookout points, and you can add a padlock to the Locks of Love along it. Finger Lakes State Park 
This former coal strip mine has been transformed into an outdoor park. It's one of only two in the state that allows ATVs, and they're one of the best ways to travel through it. Other options include swimming, kayaking, and walking. You can also camp among the natural beauty or visit for a few lovely hours. Binder State Park if you still can't get enough of state parks after visiting Rock Bridge, Finger Lakes, and Katy Trail, Jefferson City has at least one more for you. Binder State Park is one of the best to visit if you have children because it has spots for volleyball, softball, and disc golf. You can even bring your pets to the dog park. There are over 644 acres to explore and a beautiful lake to fish at or explore on boat. The campground is open all day and there are over 17 RV campsites with full amenities as well. Central Dairy this spot became Jefferson City's top milk producer after it was established in 1920. It added an ice cream counter in 1934 and is still a favorite destination for frozen treats. You'll see lines stretching outside for Central Dairy's hand-scooped cones, dishes, sundaes, and shakes. If you want something more filling, you can also order kielbasa or a hot dog. You'll probably have to get it to go, though, because the booths and tables inside fill up quickly. Runge Nature Center This wildlife outpost sits directly in the middle of Jefferson City. It has over 3,000 square feet of space filled with nature trails, live animals, and aquariums. You can also check out the Discover Center, interactive activities, nature library, and gift shop. There's even a 60-foot tower that will give you unforgettable views of the city. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of Jefferson City. Downtown. Start your visit to the downtown area at the Jefferson City Convention and Visitors Bureau for an overview of its historic 1800s Romanesque and Victorian buildings. A few of the best are the Cole County Courthouse, Lowman's Opera House, Temple Beth El, and the Exchange and Trust Bank Building. You can also enjoy unique shops and boutiques such as the South Bank Gift Company and Dogwood Vintiques. Echo Lounge Locals will recommend this former saloon as one of the best things to do. It has a pub-style menu with onion rings, burgers, chicken sandwiches, steaks, and more. Madison's Cafe this restaurant has served delicious Italian-American cuisine since 1982. It seats over 200 guests in the main area, with space for 40 more in the lounge and 120 in its private banquet rooms. The menu includes steak, soup, salad, sandwiches, appetizers, and more. It also has a wonderful wine and cocktail selection. Colonel Alvin R. Lubker Memorial Safety and Education Center this site was opened in 1982 to celebrate the Missouri Highway Patrol. Its exhibits include safety information, patrol cars, weapons, uniforms, and more. One consistent favorite is Otto the Talking Car. It even shows law enforcement practices from the 30s to the modern day. Admission is free, and it's a perfect educational stop for families with children. Mission LLC Nightclub This is one of the best things to do in Jefferson if you want to experience the nightlife it has to offer. The club's brick walls, pinewood floors, and stamped ceiling will remind you of the 1800s, but the live music is modern. Missouri Farm Bureau Log Home This site is considered one of the most important historical sites in the entire state. Take a free tour to see the rooms, artifacts, and exhibits inside. You'll learn about how local farmers lived in the 1800s. Capitol Mall. This shopping destination has been in operation since 1978. High Voltage Arcade is one of its key attractions, a family-friendly place to enjoy games and great food. Miller Performing Arts Center. This entertainment hub opened in 1926, but has been refurbished to add modern comforts. It's managed by Jefferson City Public Schools and features a wide range of performances, including concerts and dances from local schools and other talented individuals. You can also enjoy the Railton Art Gallery on the upper level. Stark Caverns. This geological wonder has impressive rock formations, Native American artifacts and geode cracking, and a gift shop. It's wheelchair accessible so anyone can enjoy it. Ashford Castle. This 13th century mansion will make you feel like you've been transported back in time and taken to the real Ashford Castle in Ireland. You can only admire it from outside, but it's still an experience worth having. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Jefferson City? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.